Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Hope so you are fine. So now in this lecture, I will tell you about what really ping of death is. So before finding the ping of death, first I will tell you a daily life example. First I will give you an example of a road traffic that if two cars are moving and wants to take a turn at the same time, wants to cross the road at the same time, track is created for two cars. But what if there are three cars and the track uh, and moving on the track of three, uh, so the traffic get blocked. And what if there is a huge truck moving by and wants to pass on the same way? The same thing happens as the traffic blocked right? because the road, this road and this track is specially created for two cars. So no three cars, three cars are not allowed at the same time and not even the truck. So the same thing is happening in the ping of death. I hope you understand it by the example. Let's see what really ping of death is. Basically the packet frame as we I told you in my previous lecture the packet frame is of 56 bytes starting from the 56 bytes and ends at the 65,535 bytes okay but any IPv4 packet may be as large as 65,500 bytes if the attacker sends a malformed very large ping packet to the victim IP address the IP packet will reach the targeted victim splitting into multiple fragments when the victim machine will re reassemble the IP fragments, it will end up with the IP packet larger than 65,535 bytes. As a result, the victim computer cannot handle that properly and a buffer overflow will happen. It can result in a system crash and a potentially allowing the injection of malicious code. This is called the ping of death. So basically here the 65,535 bytes greater than 65,535 bytes is basically a truck which is passing from the track which is created for the cars so the three cars moving on a two on a track of two cars is basically like too much overflow and creating a buffer overflow okay so these all things uh, whatever you are learning in the technology is taken from your daily life example okay you will see around everywhere there are the examples are available so this is just a common example here so i hope you understand it what really the ping of death is let's move on towards the tcp what really the issues in tcp and how the tcp connections are established we will see each and everything there so stay with me and we will meet in next lecture allah hafiz